You say about um, people are too fragile to be in this business. I'm like, if you're angry by that, perhaps this isn't the place. To yeah, be. Mm. maybe. Well, I think that's one of the most honest and one of the most powerful questions that somebody can ask. It's a tremendously courageous mm. thing to face to look into the mirror and say, "Is this the business for me? Mm. Am I the kind of person whose potential is going to be limited by being in this?" business um is my individuality going to be erased or swamped by the necessities and demands of it is this the is this the right thing for me can i deal with rejection over and over and over again mm -hmm. um can i deal with what's perceived as failure mm -hmm. Like you're talking about, you know, you're you're on this side of the fence or that side of the fence. Success and failure are the good guy and the bad mm -hmm. guy. You're either this or you're that. Well, that, in my opinion, is is false because mm -hmm. there are many degrees of success and there are many kinds of failure that are not actually perceived as failures, but were not, but are not actually failures. The only kind of real success, um, I think is the success of contentment to be accepting of this is th th this is the life that i have and i accept it and i'm content with it there's a lot of people i have seen over many many years of being in this business who have really suffered being in this business mm -hmm. suffered because their ambitions weren't fulfilled because they had been um, um they'd been in the wrong place at the wrong time mm -hmm. and things didn't work out for them you can go from there to there in a couple of days mm 